Okay, three, two, one, action. Good morning, Border Collie Nation. These are your announcements for Tuesday, May 3, 2022. This is AB Day. This is Russian Invasion of Ukraine Day 71. This is also Teacher Appreciation Week Day 2. I am Miss Madsen with student helpers Martha Kuratuk, Jessica Milton, Antonio Perry, and Marie Wilson. At the camera we have Helena Shelley, and at the controls we have Sierra Fox. The Tesla time is 8.51. Let's all stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, shall we? Face the American flag, hand on your heart, ready, commence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now the Border Collie Oath, follow along and don't fall behind while reciting it. Border Collies are the best to make the good times last. At Tesla we show our Border Collie pride in every single way we can. I can make it a whole year without ever failing. Now we continue to stand for a moment of silence. Thank you everyone. You may be seated. Here are your announcements, there are 11 in total. This week's health topic is, nasal and sinus cancer. According to the National Health Society website, nasal and sinus cancer is a rare cancer that affects the nasal cavity, the space behind your nose, and the sinuses, small air-filled cavities inside your nose, cheekbones and forehead. Nasal and sinus cancer is different from cancer of the area where the nose and throat connect. This is called nasopharyngeal cancer. To learn more, go see Mrs. Durham for more cancer information. Today in history, there are 11 events that happened on this day. First, in 1979, Margaret Thatcher of the Conservative Party was elected British Prime Minister, becoming the first woman in Europe to hold that post. She later became the longest continuously serving British Premier since 1827. Then, in 2016, a wildfire forced the evacuation of Fort McMurray, Alberta the capital of Canada's tar sand industry in the surrounding area. Ultimately, more than 80,000 people fled the blaze, which caused billions of dollars in losses. In 1996, at the first formal review of the 1980 Geneva Convention on Inhumane Weapons, the signatories agreed to curtail the use of landmines over the next decade. In 1978, users of ARPANET received an 80 that was believed to be the first spam email. In 1952, the Kentucky Derby, the most prestigious American horse race, was televised nationally in the United States for the first time. The winning horse was Hill Gale, ridden by jockey Eddie Artaro. In 1937, American author Margaret Mitchell won a Pulitzer Prize for her enormously popular novel Gone with the Wind, which was made into an Academy Award-winning motion picture two years later. In 1903, American singer, actor, and songwriter Bing Crosby, whose casual stage manner and mellow, relaxed singing style made him the most successful entertainer of his day, was born in Tacoma, Washington. In 1898, Golda Meir, a founder and the fourth prime minister, from 1969 to 1974, of Israel, was born in Kiev, Ukraine, then part of the Russian Empire. In 1815, the Congress Kingdom of Poland was created by the Congress of Vienna as part of the political settlement at the end of the Napoleonic Wars. And finally, in 1494, European explorer Christopher Columbus encountered the island of Jamaica, which he named Santiago. Students, the art festival is going to be held in the Georgia state capital city of Atlanta on Saturday, May 7. Submit your artwork on canvas or custom artwork, such as decorated and painted tote bags, to Mrs. Acorn in the art room by Friday, May 6. Students, the bus driver shortage is still ongoing. And we do have five student drivers, and they are, Martha Kurtick, Kayla Ali, Reese Marie Beaver, Martina Sullivan, and Angela Newman. They drive their current buses they ride on when the driver is out or until they reach their stop at the end of the day. 
If you have any questions, reach out to Mrs. Wolf there by sending a message if you wish to apply. As a reminder to all students, standard data rates and SMS messaging may apply. The 2021 to 2022 school yearbook is almost here. Pre-order your yearbook before Thursday, May 12th and seniors will receive books during advisory before the end of the day on Friday, May 20th outside the auditorium. Underclassmen will receive books during Border Collie Hour on Monday, May 23rd outside the auditorium. Make sure to bring a school ID or a photo ID to pick up your book. Congratulations to the boys soccer team for a perfect match against Glendale 10-6 last week. Lucky for Seltz E. Wolf, a junior, his brother, Jun Lee, had to take him to Best Buy to buy a new microwave because the Panasonic inverter had stopped working on Saturday, April 23rd. It was taken with the trash on Wednesday, April 27th, along with the and her sister's old skis, his worn-out broom, and his worn-out squeegee. And speaking of old junk, we are sponsoring a useless junk drive today. Bring microwaves, toasters, toaster ovens, grill racks, and other useless junk to the front of the school. Time Capsule from Britannica Book of the Year On May 3, 1994, Netherlands' election is inconclusive. Dutch voters were so divided in their loyalties that the results of the national election left many wondering what kind of government the Netherlands would have. The ruling coalition, which included the Christian Democratic Appeal and the Labour Party, was clearly destroyed, but no party emerged with enough strength to claim a mandate to rule. The Labour Party, under the leadership of Deputy Prime Minister Willem, Vim, Koop, received the greatest support and a projected 37 seats in the 150-seat Second Chamber, which is the lower House of Parliament. The CDA was expected to hold on to 34 seats, leaving the former coalition five seats short of a majority and with 32 fewer seats than it had controlled before the election. Prime Minister Ruud Lubber's government had lost popular support in large part because it had cut social programs and introduced other belt-tightening measures to curb the Netherlands' growing budget deficit. The next ruling coalition which would not likely take shape without long and laborious negotiations would likely include the Democrats' 66 party, a left-leaning group that was expected to occupy about 24 seats in the lower house. Locker clean knots are Tuesday, May 31st after Memorial Day weekend. Any items left over will be taken away without notice and will never be replaced, unless a student buys replacement items from a local retailer. The next Joe Fusky Island trip will be on Mother's Day, Sunday, May 8th. Be at the home 2 Inn and Suites by Hilton Hotel and Fort Klein before 7.45 as the buses leave at 8 o'clock. If you wish to sign up, do it now via Google Forms. We would like to wish the track team good luck on Friday, May 27th as they travel to Mankato via Minneapolis, courtesy of Sun Country Airlines, for regionals. Our last blood drive is Wednesday, May 11th. If you wish to sign up, sign up in the Commons during Border Collie Hour, and remember, you must be 16 or 17 years of age. See Mrs. Hodges and Guidance for more information. And thank you to Kat Noel and Lagoshi Takanashi for applying to Princeton University in New Jersey with a $5 million scholarship. Good job to both of you and thank you so much for getting married as well. Same goes for Darren Nichols and Marissa Hawkins. And last but not least, on May 1st and May 2nd regarding Russia and Ukraine, the Russian Defense Ministry claimed that its air defense systems had shot down two Ukrainian Su-24 meters bombers over the Kharkiv region overnight. Local authorities in the Odessa region claimed that a Russian rocket strike hit a strategically important bridge across the Dniester estuary. Ukraine claimed that its Bayraktar drones sank two Russian Raptor patrol boats near Snake Island. The Ukrainian Defense Ministry also released aerial thermal camera footage showing explosions on two small military vessels. However, the authenticity of the video could not be verified. We'll update every day during announcements regarding yesterday's events in Russia and Ukraine this year. Here are the words of wisdom from Theodore T. Hunger. Keep steadily before you that fact that all true success depends at last upon yourself. Hunter tells us about how ultimately, our success and failure comes down to us, our hard work, our tenacity, and our perseverance. We have a few birthdays to announce. Happy birthday today to Serenity Simpson, Kayla Alley, and Kathleen Jackson. 
The lunch menu for today is, express line, hamburger, cheeseburger, footlong chicken sandwich, onion rings, and grapes. Border Collie Diner, chicken tenders and cheesy fries with country gravy, baby carrots, and ranch dip, whole grain roll, and grapes. Aquamarine Line, tater tot casserole, green beans, ground beef, Hawaiian roll, and grapes. Breakfast for tomorrow, sausage and cheese biscuit, hash browns, and watermelon. All of which come with a choice of milk. Let's have a fabulous learning day, and remember to make every moment count in class. Do your best, look your best, be your best, always. And have a wonderful great day. And remember not to feel concerned over event postponements or cancellations, also, have a nice day in the hallways every time. Thank you. Go Border Collies. And, cut. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more.